Right. Now, uh, snare drum. Yep. So that makes sense? You don't need to sl uh, link or anything? Mm, no, not, not usually. That's that's okay. clear enough. Um, Look at the percussion carefully because you you know more about it than I do. Yeah, like in tying like rolls to subsequent notes, this is generally a more relevant notion for very resonant instruments where you might be tempted to damp before articulating other notes. Mm. With the snare, it's almost a non-issue. I see. Makes me wonder if I should just uh, tr do tremolo also in the trumpets and the horns. Like, do they flutter run? tone. Uh... They don't, they don't, they don't, but I'm wondering if... Yeah. Because it's like, that is, as it is to a percussionist, that is not so much a repetition of notes, but it is a technique. Yeah, but I'm wondering if... Let me just give it a listen for a moment. Um... History... Prologue... So, let me see... What about the fights? Mm, yeah, it, it does kind of... Mm. Maybe, I think the, the snare is quite loud, right? Oh, fuck yeah, at forte. Yes, okay. So, uh, let me just have an idea. Mezzo forte, mezzo forte, mezzo forte, everybody comes in mezzo forte, some of them are playing. So, yeah, mezzo forte, mezzo forte, mezzo forte. And then we start everything at forte. Everything is at forte, 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 forte. Okay, correct. I'll leave it as, as it is for now. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Because I know that the trumpets can be very aggressive when they flutter tongue. Yes. And maybe... Maybe... Yeah, because the horns can keep the tone. I don't need to give the flutter tongues to the horns. I can... yeah. Okay, give tremolos to the trumpets. Uh, you know what it is. It's, it's, it's where yes. the, the, uh, the snare drum is. In are unison doing. with the snare drum, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because the horns have mass, so the horns can afford to just blare. The trumpets are so, you know, thin that they, the they need a bit more... Uh, the trumpets, yes. The trumpets are so thin that... Yeah, exactly. They need a bit more of a... a punch. I, I pro I, I'm probably recommend that the trumpets be four instead of two. If possible. Mm. We have to write an ideal instrumentation and then a minimum. Although, trumpets are usually powerful in general, and by themselves. I told you right what uh, the, the, the hornist, uh, John Luxton, the guy who gave me the tips on how we're writing for horn. No. What he told me about trumpets, about dynamics. You're right, so dynamics for trumpets, here's how it works. You write piano, it's forte. Middle forte, forte. Forte is fortissimo, fortissimo is forte fortissimo. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds close to it. It's always working. I mean, I'm, I'm usually sat behind them. Yes. That or the low brass, for whom key signatures are optional. <laughs> What's up? Key signatures. Key signatures? Why? Well, because they're all too hard to read, and then the intonation of everyone gets fucked up because... Oh, shit, I missed that, did I? Oh, I'm sort yeah, no, of I... the tonic half of the time, am I? Oh, dear. Tremolo's added. Okay, good. Same thing. Next page, same thing. Hey, yep. Tremolo's with a snare. Well, they're not with the snare in this case, but yes. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the horn. Never mind. Uh, indeed. The symphony looks normal, right? Forte hitting on. It 
feels like like the dynamic is correct. Is it more forceful than that? This feels forceful. It is, but but does it need to be more? You you mm. want to put an accent on every one of them? Mm. Why, why would you accent? That's the thing about timpani. Yeah. Like, I'm, why I'm... would you accent something if the dynamic is already what it is? It's because some people treat it treat um, all accents as forms of articulation, which is not incorrect. Like, there is a particular quality to the way you approach um, a moderate accent. There is a way you approach the stroke of marcato. There is a way you approach the stroke of tenuto, for that matter, as opposed to just a regular note. And that's one school of thought. I would be reticent to apply it to every note. Yes. Yeah, yeah, never mind. No, no point. It's forte, it's what it is. Everything is forte. Oh. The F cliff for the horns. Because it's not, it should not be F cliff. You only write an F cliff when you go five five things below. Oh god. Hang on, I'll find it. Just looking at oh my god oh yeah, that one is supposed to be there. Let's see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Salesman. Is that right? Well, something drove by. Okay. Horns, everything is on. Okay. Yes, correct, 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 correct. And then Miguel, for some reason, decided to not. Miguel, are you there? No, he's not. Um, right. Oh, you done? I, I was looking at completely the wrong stuff the whole time. Okay. I don't know how. Uh, easy. Tell me when you're done. I should probably sleep soon if I'm making mistakes like yes. that. Yes. 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 Play it for you. 3 a.m. for you. Okay. Oh, Tell me when you're done. Mm -hmm. So. You are. Yes. Okay. So the horns too. Mm -hmm. Come in, or two and four, come in at the rehearsal mark eight, very closely. Yes. Uh, but the rule is, unless you are writing, unless one of the notes is at the fifth ledger line, you should never go to F clef for horns. That's what Luxon told them. Hmm. So hmm. we have to move those to G clef, treble clef. Okay. And it keeps being so until what? Ah, 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 ah. It is what? F clef. It is G clef in the part. It is F clef on the score for Why? sanity. Because there's a, there's a tagged override that applies only to the score that makes it F clef for sanity. Oh, cool. I like that. Yes. Okay. Approves. Um... So indeed, it is satisfying the rule. Okay, yes. It is, it is. And in fact, what this means is we don't have to engrave for the sake of musicians on the score. No, of can, course not. We can suit the conductor very well. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Yes. So, travels around, ta -da, ta -da. so you got you, you give travels also to page eight, right? For the trumpets. Yes. Give a look at the percussion to make sure nothing is wrong. I think you're already done. It's all way. happy. Whistle mark nine, bar a hundred two. Da, da, da. My yes. inner economic percussionist wants to put percent repeats everywhere, but sure, no, we won't do that. Why is a forte coming back in the horns in page nine? Oh, because Miguel decided that rehearsal marks need reminders of dynamics. It's possible. It's, it's, it is just there, like, there's no, it's not a weird technical reason, it's just, it is marked forte. 
Yeah, but it shouldn't be unless that's what he wants. In which case... <sighs> should it be then that every rehearsal mark should have a reiteration of the dynamics? Maybe. That's kind of bad when we come back from just like four bars. Yeah, it's probably... I think in cases like that we should let common sense prevail. I mean, then not... you need then you need to remove them, all of them, from from Mark Nine. All of them. No, no, sorry. You do not remove. You do not remove the forte from the piccolo or the flute. Oh, that's why it's correct. Yeah, except for the horn for some reason. Remove it from horns two four. Mm -hmm. And trombones and bass trombones and tuba. And Chimbalom. So, all brass and Chimbalom. Yeah, that's it. Remove them from that. From there. Yeah, the flutes are okay. Piccolo and the flute. Oh, also from the oboes and the clarinet that come afterwards. Same page. And the horns one. Oh, he, he is reinstating him. I don't know why. Because we can't make up our minds about the fact of the matter of whether we should or not. Probably. We've determined that four bars is is, is okay. It's eight would be like the most, right? Even sixteen. Sixteen's a phrase. Yeah. Yeah, kill them. Kill the. Kill them. Do it. Kill the 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 um, the fortes in the oboes, the clarinet, and the horns. One three. You see, trumpets don't have them. Indeed not. So it makes no sense. Okay. It is done. It is done. Then page ten. Dee da 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 da. No. Da da. No, oh, it's something else. I can't. I can't read music. Why am I making an opera if I can't read music? Piccolo and flute are doing something else. So, okay. Why is the piccolo staccato and the other instruments are not? That makes no sense. Indeed. Kill the staccatos. Page ten, bar nine. Third last. Oh, yes. Yes. One hundred and thirteen. Third last, kill Sakatos and Piccolo. Remove Fortes from Obos and Clarinets again. A lot of people throwing, you know, little Fs around everywhere. Yes. It's like they don't give an F. Yeah. Hey. They do, they give too many. They're I'm, giving too many Fs. I'm here all day. <laughs> well, as it's mounting, I'm here all night. Yes. Tell me when you're really dead, because that's... that's... You'll sleep when you're dead! Yeah, I'm sort of approaching that. Um, yes. Alright, let's engrave that.